Hey everybody, it's J Poe here with The Purple Posy. And I am going to be working on this fireplace behind me and we're gonna be working with some creams and some reds. So I decided I wanted to give it a facelift and what better time to do a fireplace than right before Christmas. Get it ready for Santa, you can hang some stockings from it and decorate it up all pretty. Um, so what we're working with today is I've got Rusty Nail, I'm working with Barn Red, Whoa, I forgot to close this from earlier. That's not good. Sandbar. Didn't close this one either. And buttercream. The plan is um, I'm going to do the reds down here, the creams up here, and then I'm also going to be using my mini brushes. I've got two of them. I've got two of them ready to go. So let's get started. So the main color up here is um, sandbar. And what I did, if, since if you guys missed the first one, was I went in before with the rusty nail and I kind of um, I kind of smushed it in all the little edges to where when I went over it with the sandbar and the buttercream, you could see the rusty nail just kind of peeking through. And that's what I want. I don't want a complete cream color up here. I wanted a little bit of that rusty nail poking through. And I did the opposite down here. <clears throat> I put the, um, the sandbar in the little right here and went over it with the rusty nail and I'm letting the sandbar peek through here. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. So the, the main color here is the sandbar. And what I'm doing with the buttercream is I'm basically just using it kind of as an accent color to give it some depth and dimension. And the beauty of doing the boho blending is, guys, it doesn't have to be perfect at all. Um, so we're just going to jump right in. So like I said, I'm going in first with the sandbar. Um, and we're just going to get another layer on here. Now, you don't have to wet your paint down, but I do just to make it spread a little easier. But I definitely don't want to cover up that rusty nail, so I'm being very light-handed, and I'm, I want my paint to be pretty thin, which is why I'm gonna keep the paint wet. And I'm just misting with water. It's not vinegar water or anything like that. It's just plain water. Now, I'm, I'm doing a second coat because I didn't get great coverage the first go around because I, I painted so fast. To be quite honest, because I had promised my little girl I would go cuddle with her and watch a movie, and I wouldn't, you know, be live for very long, so I just didn't get good coverage. But that's looking pretty good there. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to take a tiny, tiny bit. I'm going to keep my paint wet of the buttercream, and when I say a tiny, tiny bit. I mean this much, and that's probably too much right there. This is the buttercream. And I'm just gonna randomly swoosh it in there and just kind of blend it in. And all the while, keep the paint wet. You don't want your paint to dry up on you. And there's no rhyme or reason as far as where I put the paint. I'm just, I'm just laying it somewhere. Because I don't want it to look like one solid color. And I'm just focusing on this center little section first before I move on to the outer edges. Now, I don't know how well you guys can see that. Turn this down a bit. That's a little bit better, isn't it? Yeah, you guys can see that better. I pretty much had a paint in the dark earlier when it was daylight outside. Okay. <clears throat> so that center portion is pretty much how I like it. Um, and when at the end, when we're done, I'll bring you guys in super close. I mean, up close and personal, so where you guys can see this little peekaboo of the rusty nail because it is so pretty. Now I don't change brushes for colors that are the same 
these are so close in color I, I don't and people cringe but for me it helps the blending process all right we're gonna work on the outer edges now we're gonna go in spritz with water so it spreads a little faster and easier We're going back in with the sandbar now. This is the main, kind of the base color. I tried really hard not to get it down here earlier, but I failed miserably. So that's why I'm starting at the top and working down. I started at the bottom and worked up earlier. This time I got smart. So we're still with the sandbar here. Now I covered up a lot of the the rusty nail right there which is okay it's fine you can always fix that I may not fix it because I don't I don't want it to be too perfect and that's the beauty of bohemian furniture is it's perfectly imperfect so I'll just look at it when we're done and if I feel like it needs to be touched up I'll do it and you can do that with a little artist brush you can just go back in with that rusty nail and just squish it up in that in that crevice. All right. So while the paint is wet here, you get that little lip. These little mini brushes are my go-to. I pretty much use them for everything except for like chairs. All right, so while the paint is wet, I'm dipping back into the buttercream. And this is really, what am I gonna do to the top? I don't know. <laughs> I showed it to my husband and I was like, what do you think we should do? He's like, oh, he was no help at all. Um, I kinda wanna go all the way to the top with the creams, honestly. I think that's what I really want to do is go all the way to the top of the creams. Just because I, most of my furniture typically has a black or a brown top. And I kind of want to do something different. Switch it up a little, you know. Put my dog's hair in there, make it extra. Um, I'm adding just a touch of the sandbar now. No rhyme or reason, just wherever.
So the base, the base is the rusty nail. And if you guys have not used the rusty nail, you need to. You need to. It's such a beautiful color. I didn't show y'all. These are the colors in my bedroom, which is kind of what we're going for here. Close enough. Close enough. Um, I'm just not sitting right next to it, so close enough. All right. That's it. 8.20. We got time. We got time. Okay. All right, new brush now. New brush, and I'm going in hot with the rusty nail. Up here. Oh, would you look at that? Stray little hair. All right, now right here, since I don't want to get in the little grooves, you guys can see. This is as far down as my thing goes. I'm, I'm kind of going at this as a, at an angle, so I don't get into this little crease. And at the same time, try not to get that. going to dip and you can't really tell since it's so close in red I don't know if you can tell I didn't get very much of the rusty nail on there I mean barn red barn red sorry now we're going on barn red and we're doing the same like we did with the creams we're just randomly placing a different red just to break it up a little bit What I'll do is I'll pull you guys off the little tripod and I'll bring you in for a super close look. So here's the little peekaboo. Y'all can see the rusty nail poking through. I love it. That is absolutely perfect. That is exactly what I wanted right there. That's exactly what I wanted. Same down here where you can see that drop cloth poking through. It's hard to tell, but here you can see that barn red. Let me pull back. You can see the barn barn red there, the rusty nail here. You can see that a little bit. I don't know if y'all can see that. You guys have a very Merry Christmas. Thanks again for joining me, and I'll see you guys next time.